Hey there, this is Stacy. I hope everyone's having a good day. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time, so I thought I would touch on some of my favorite products real quick for you. Hair products. I purchased this at TJ Maxx. I imagine you can probably get it at Ulta and other places. Um, it's Joico, and it's the Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm, and it says that it is for thick, coarse, dry hair. And I have very thick hair, very coarse hair. Um, I tend to think it might be a little bit on the dry side just because I color it um, at home with um, a permanent hair dye and I think that kind of dries your hair out maybe a little bit more than some of the semi-permanent or demi-permanent or whatever they're called. So this is a fabulous product. It really doesn't matter what shampoo I use, um, even though I do still use the Bedhead Moisture Maniac, but no matter what shampoo I've used, this has been a really nice product that you put on your hair after you wash it, you keep it in for a couple minutes and rinse it out. So I really like that a lot. And then, this is kind of a weird one, but this is a hair product that I have loved. I've been using bobby pins probably a little bit more than I used to. And I picked these up, and I'm not sure if I got them at Ulta. It was either Ulta or Walgreens, and it's possible you can get them at both places. But I just love these little hair pins. They come like the, on a card like this. And the reason that I like them so much, I'm gonna take one off and show you. Hopefully you can see it. They're little curved pins, and the top is shorter than the bottom, and it's just a really good dark color for dark hair. I'm not sure if they come in other colors, but just the way it curves and kind of curves with the shape of your head, um, you know, instead of being a flat bobby pin, I've really, really enjoyed these. So that's kind of what they look like there. Like I said, it's just kind of a curved one. You can see that there. I will be getting more of those. I'm really bad with my bobby pins, taking them out just wherever I am, you know, in the house, in the car, or whatever, and then I can't find them when I'm looking for them. So face products. I'm still loving these Neutrogena wipes. These are the hydrating ones. I like to use these in the evening when I take off my makeup. They're good for taking off uh, the waterproof mascara as well. And so it just says the conditions and soothes skin. I really like it. Another skin product is my Neutrogena also. The Rapid Wrinkle Repair Moisturizer, which I really don't go without. I use this on my neck and decollete and face um, nearly every single day. It has an SPF of 30. I've said a thousand times how much I like it and have a review on my blog. As far as a cleanser, the Cebu Beauty, the Balancing Facial Cleanser. Looks like that. And this is the one that has just kind of like some little particles in it that help to clean your face, but it's not very rough. There are some others that are a little rougher, but this one's really nice and gentle. It's kind of like in a gel-based cleanser. So that's a real nice product with the sea buckthorn berries in it. Another one that I've enjoyed is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash from uh, Philosophy. Looks like that. And I talked about this one recently. I like this one when I just don't feel like getting my Clarisonic out and just kind of want more of like that buffing kind of cleanse to just get everything off my face and just feel squeaky clean. Um, as far as face products, I've really been enjoying this. And this is that Pure Minerals that I showed recently. This is the 4-in-1 Complexion Kit and it has a mineral... Um, tinted moisturizer. It has a foundation which gives pretty full coverage. Again, I did a review on this on my blog actually just yesterday or the day before. Um, it's got a nice pressed mineral powder. It's got a very nice concealer and it has another little packet of a product that's just a primer that I don't really use. Um, it's so small it wouldn't get you more than one or two uses anyway. But I do like this kit a lot and the only thing I would say about this kit that I don't like is that I wish I had some of the products in light and some of the products in medium. I think the light is kind of more of the color that I like to go for with my skin rather than the medium, which is kind of more of a goldeny yellow undertone to it. So I would kind of mix the products up and buy them individually, but I think this was a great way to try them all. Another face product that I love, and this is what I have on today for my foundation, is the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. My color is 4.5, and I might go to just for, go up a color here for the winter, but um, I really, really like this. I think it just gives you that nice airbrushed finish. For under eye concealer, which I use today, is this one from Dior. 
I don't know if it has a name, Skin Flash. You can see that. Skin Flash, it's the um, Radiance Booster Pen from Dior, and I, my color is 003. I really like that. I use that under eyes, kind of around the nose, kind of any spotty areas that you might have. You put it on after all of your makeup is already on, and it doesn't dry out. It kind of gives a little bit of a moisturizing finish to it. For blush, and I have this on today, is the Lorac Exposed. I think everyone's heard about that a lot. And I just like it because it just gives a nice, fresh, glowy finish. For eyes, um, as far as eyeshadow and all, I mean, I love all of my eyeshadows. I don't have with me right here, I forgot, um, as far as eyeliner, my favorite is still that Jordana eyeliner, $1.99 at Walgreens, that in black, my favorite. Mascara Stila, and I think I got this in my, like a kit from Sephora around Christmas time, which I think they might have it all the time, and it's just a bunch of different mascaras. And this one is the Stila Forever Your Curl, Curl Memory Mascara. It just has a nice little brush and it just really grabs your lashes and gives a nice look to your lashes. I've enjoyed that. Then three lip products that I've really enjoyed are Victoria's Secret, the VS Pro Moisture FX Softening Lip Balm. And I showed this recently in a haul a couple weeks ago. Just a nice, it's got that little pink tint but it doesn't turn out pink on your lips and it actually gives a little bit of a gloss finish. Then I'm still loving my Buxom, and this one's the Oh La La. And this is from that newer collection from Buxom. Let's see if I can see on here. It's the full bodied lip gloss, and I just really enjoy it. Like I said, it's called Oh La La. I don't know if you can see the color, maybe there. Just a pretty pink color, and I do have that on today over my Tarte lip stain. Then another product that I really, really love and just can't even say enough about, uh, enough good things about, is the Fusion Beauty. And this is that Fusion Beauty XL lip product. And it's a limp product, a limp plumping product. And what it says is that a 2X micro injected collagen plus HA advanced lip plumping therapy. And I got this a while ago and I purchased it I think maybe on Sephora or something when Sephora wasn't going to be carrying the Fusion products anymore, the Fusion Beauty products. But I know you can get this like on All Cosmetics Wholesale and places like that. So I would do an internet search for this. I can't say enough good things about it. This really, really moisturizes your lips. It gives you the moisture, uh, probably just minimum as far as plumping. It doesn't sting or burn or anything like that as far as a limp, lip plumping product, but it really does. It kind of draws the moisture out from your lips and just gives them a nice finish. And it's great for wearing under other lipsticks and lip glosses and whatever you need to wear it under. But you just kind of, I put it on in kind of like morning, noon, and night. And it just doesn't dry my lips out like some other products might. And I don't know, I just think it gives a really good protection for your lips. And now I've still seen this at Ulta for like $50, which is crazy because you really can get it at discounted prices on the web. So check and look and don't pay $50 for it. That's kind of crazy. So I actually need to look and see if I can find another one. So anyway, those are just some of my favorite products for the month of October um, and probably September and August too. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Welcome to my new subscribers. I'm going to film a couple videos here. So I will have a couple to upload since I have been really bad about doing that lately. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a good one and I will see you all again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.